Hello and welcome to this bongo tutorial on shop items. So we've logged into our website, as you can tell by the menu at the top. And for this video we're going to look at our shop items. So the first thing you want to do is go to shop in the admin menu. And we're going to click new shop item. Which will bring up this screen. So, first off, you want to put a code in, which is just for your reference. And then you need to put a name in, which is what will be displayed on the website. I'm just going to put my first shop item. Next up, we have this text editor box and you can just put in a description so I'm just going to put in a brief description then you can add features so for example for clothing you could put whether it's machine washable or tumble dryer friendly you can also set delivery information so for example how long it will be or how long it should be until the item is delivered Features and delivery will appear under their own tabs at the bottom of the page, whilst the description appears at the top underneath the product name next to an image of the product. Now this text editor works the same as any other on the site, so you can add similar things such as bullet points or bold text. And you can choose whether it's active or not, so whether it appears in the store or not. So you can set the price. Price will be what is what the customer will pay. Uh, you can also set whether or not there needs to be a deposit placed on it. You can choose how it's shown, whether it's just the price or whether it's displayed as pay on application and you can also have it set to to be confirmed. We also have the VAT rate so whether it's standard or zero rated and the recommended retail price or was price as well. You can also set whether there needs to be a deposit paid and you can add waiting for custom shipping. We also have offers, so we can set a start and end date, and the offer will be applied in between those times, and will automatically end when it reaches the expiry date. So we set an amount in, and that can either be the amount it takes off of the price, the percent it takes off the price, or so that it gets set to that price. We also have stock levels that work as a very basic stock management system basically it will change the how the uh, item is represented when you reach a certain level and you can also set it to show the stock level as its availability so if you have a limited amount of items it will show that on the site click save and as you can see you can always go back in and edit the item ok so now we can add images by going to more details and clicking select images we can then click browse upload our image from our computer and click save you can have multiple images in there we then have the option to add this to a department aisle and shelf but that will be covered in the department's aisles and shelves video. Now that's our item done. We can log out and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to return to main site and log out. And then I'm going to search in the search bar for shop item. 
and there it is, you can see it's got the offer at the top, 5% off, how long it's got left, and if we click on it, it will bring up the main page, so with these tabs at the bottom, so you can click between features delivery and product reviews. Finally, we have our item image, description, price, and the buttons to add to the basket and continue shopping. And that's it. Thanks for watching.